Hello, and welcome to episode 59 of Life on Tap, a multimedia experience now from the heart of NYC. Um, there's another shot out there. Um, this is going to be one of, this is probably going to be the last um, full bearded episode of Life on Tap. Uh, I hope to, um, I'm going to record one more episode with a new uh, ch check on the facial do here, but it's uh, hopefully I'm going to be back to my normal clean shaven self. Uh, momentarily um, since I'm healing a lot uh, pretty nicely as far as I can see and plus you know I'm starting my semester again real real soon so it's kind of crazy but before we get over to that um, we have to continue our series with the duck rabbit brewery and today we're doing Zipporta so let's take a, let's see how this is going to work out for us yeah Pours nice and dark, as you can see. Very deep, deep brown. I got it. Now, what's a really, really interesting nose here. Obviously, very malt forward, like most porters are. But I'm getting chocolate, definitely a lot of chocolate. But I'm getting almost a kind of a, you know, um, those um, berry meets chocolate, like the dark chocolate, like you know, with like kind of a raspberry. I'm getting a little bit of that for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm getting a lot. But the chalk, but the chocolate, the, the dark malt, the roastedness is really, really nice on this. I really like that. Let's give this thing a shot. Hmm. I really like the mouthfeel. It's almost like. It's 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 you know it's got a good good body to it, but it, it kind of rolls across your palate really really well. Um, really enjoying that. And the malt, the malt comes through afterwards. And it's really interesting because I mean there's I, I I've had another taste about this, and one thing um, that made me think about it is that I saw a note that the um, the brewers uh, Paul and Brandon actually added oats to. Uh, the mix at one point, so I'm actually getting a bit of, now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of taste a little bit of that, you know, that aftertaste when you have like, you know, say um, a very high quality, like a, a very high quality oatmeal cookie, or something like, you know, or maybe some, you know, with some oatmeal, apple crisp with some oatmeal on it, I'm getting a little bit of that aftertaste on the back palate, it's kind of wild. It's a, it's, it's a pretty nice porter, all things considered, I mean, um, I mean, there's tons of porters out there, I mean, I recommend you try them all, I mean, some of them have more smoke, some that have more chocolate, some that have more roastedness. So I mean, you know, this is a pretty uh, uh, run of the mill. I mean, I, I think that the, the oat contingent, like uh, I mentioned before, is kind of really neat, and the, and the, and the mouth feel I think was really nice about it. So uh, um, not bad. I, do, I mean, I, def I definitely enjoyed it, and I probably will enjoy the rest of it after I'm off camera. Um, but uh, as uh, as a reminder, if you want to reach us, it's www.lifeontab.net. Email is lifeontap at lifeontap.net. You can check me out on Twitter and Skype. I'm newtype2001. And also on Facebook, I'm facebook.com slash newtype2001. And that's basically about it. I hope to be at you soon with the last uh, of the Duck Rabbit series. Uh, the Milk Stout will be coming up, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Remember, life's a tap. Drink up till it's dry.